Remember, if you don't protect your website directory, it really is open for the entire world to see. Hi, I'm Dan Afonso of Afonso Consulting and Enfold IT, and this is how to create a password-protected web area. Now, the general uh, instructions here are for using Apache. If you're using IIS, it's actually pretty straightforward. You just go into the website, right-click on the directory you want, and you can go into the security under that. For Apache, it's a little bit more involved because you're editing text files. Um, it's not much more complicated. In fact, there's a standard pattern for all this. Um, let's take a look over here. What we have is the standard pattern for it, which is you tell it where the user file is located, what type of authentication is going to be used, what you want to pop up when you actually try and protect the file, and what that directory needs to get over, uh, to get access to, what the user needs to present in order to gain access to that part of the directory. So, let's try it. Over here, I have my index page of my test website. Now, I'm going to go to protected .html, make sure it comes up, great, it's the same page, I'm not changing anything on it. So what I want to do is I want to protect it, and the first thing I need to do is to create the password file. Um, by default, this password file is going to be called .htpasswd. Um, you can create this in a variety of ways. If you don't have shell access like I'm using here, you can go online to a myriad of HT password generators. That'll create the file if you give them a bunch of username and passwords. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable. I'm going to create it from a command line by using the HT password command. And if we do a dash help, you can see the syntax for it. Now all I really want to do here is HT password. The password file is going to be .htpasswd. And the username, I'm going to call it Afonso, and I'm going to set my, and it's going to ask me for my password. Oh. And the password is going to be, well, let's set the password, what the hell. Okay. So now, you'll notice, still nothing. So now we have to tell it what to do. And now we use the HT access file. I'm going to edit that file. Now this file is used by Apache to tell uh, per directory configuration, and it's usually limited in what it can do, but what it can almost always do is provide protection. Now since we don't want to password protect the entire directory, we just want to do a file, I'm going to use this form, where I tell it which file to use. I'm just going to copy it insert it into here, and I'm going to edit what I need. So, first thing, the files, I want to go with just protected.html. I'm going to call it protected dir, that's fine, and the path to ht password. Now this has to be the full path, not a relative path. Uh, so we're going to go with bar slash www slash html slash ht password. And this should be fairly straightforward for you to get from, uh, from your provider. Okay, we're all set here. I'm going to save it. Now that we've made the changes in the file, we should be able to go to the protected file and get a password prompt. And perfect, there we are. So this is how we create a password protected directory. Um, remember, your provider has to allow this. Uh, most of them do on commercial sites, but this is the easiest way to create a password protected directory in case you need to share data with only a few people. I'm Dan Afonso, and this has been how to create a password protected file or directories on Apache.